All right, open up your file that you worked on in the previous tutorial. This should be part two. We're going to do a little bit of modifications to the UV map. Uh, and then uh, in part three, uh, we'll kind of discuss adding uh, images or bitmaps to your uh, material and, and aligning those properly in Photoshop, uh, or just kind of color in the map uh, if you so choose in body paint. All right, so let's uh, take care of this. And it's not too bad, actually. Uh, I could just grab the points here and pull them in. But what I'm going to do is just to kind of show you some other options that you would have is I'm going to slice this apart here and here and then remap it and then kind of restitch some corner areas that we have. Here. This may look a little different than the one you're using. And make sure that I'm on the same one. Yep. And what we're going to end up with uh, is something It'll look like, let's see, show UV mesh, this one here. And you can see I've kind of cleaned up the inside of where that mouth is selected. You could do the same thing with the tongue too if you want to unwrap it a little bit further. That's kind of up to you to play with that and see what, you, what it is your needs are for the most part. All right, so uh, I could you know, come in here with the points. I use my live selection tool. Uh, let's turn that down to say two. So I have a little bit better modification. And then uh, take E on my keyboard and start to move stuff around, which is fine. That works fine for the most part. But then you got to play with you know, overlapping and what would work best for you. So you have to decide what is quickest uh, for you. And so in this case, I might want to scale those apart a bit. And then obviously using my move tool here, using my keyboard, move those down. So you can see I'm cleaning up this mesh quite easily, just moving the points. And essentially I'd want to make sure that they're kind of all even running along there. Uh, in this case, this is very, I just have a few points here that I have to move with this one. Uh, I could also again use the relax UV and cut some points here. And that's what I'm going to show you. All right. So I'm going to go here to my, um, Edge tool. All right. And come inside the mouth. <clears throat> and again, it, it exists here with those three lines that you can see, and that's where I'm going to be cutting it up. So it's like my edge tool, space bar. And you can do this any viewport that you want uh, or any layout that you want. I'm going to just do here right here body paint. So one. Two, three. I'm going to cut those lines there. And if I were to unstitch this now, it would actually unwrap it kind of awkwardly, I believe. So I'm going to do both sides here. And then I'm just going to kind of stitch those together. And let's see what the result will be. All right, so essentially we're just going to be cutting this UV map there and right there where we've selected. I'm not going to pin any points or anything uh, in this case for what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to go to uh, the UV Polygon tool and make sure that I have the polygons that I want to slice here selected. Let's scale back a little bit here. Okay. And make sure that cut selected edges. And I'm going to leave auto -reliant, uh, realign on for this one, but we're going to click apply now. It's probably going to make it quite large. But you can see how it's unwrapped them into two separate maps, and now they're pretty cleanly aligned from each other, or apart from each other with that. So let's scale these down. Mm -hmm. yeah, on the keyboard, I'm going to move them down here. This makes it even easier. I don't have to think about it too much. So I'm just going to take this one, E on my keyboard again to move it, and I'm going to stretch it up here. And then this one here, select it. Hit UY number of times just to select those that are next to it. E on the keyboard and move it down. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is kind of stitch and sew these areas. And uh, sometimes the body paint will do this quite easily for you. So if I select, for instance, these here, since they're connected actually on the uh, uh, map itself or on the actual model itself, uh, and if I hit this little button here, uh, you can see it kind of sews those together very quickly and easy for me. So if I hit space bar, I select the yeah, keyboard, I can actually move that in. So there's the interior of my mouth. And we're going to do the same thing here. 
And I got one extra selected here, so I don't know if I want that or not. It may not even stitch it. Uh, one other thing we're going to do is relax these UVs so they look a little cleaner uh, as opposed to trying to move every single point. Um, and so I'm just going to my live select tool and select all these UVs here, UI on my keyboard. Uh, make sure that uncheck pinpoint selection, cut selected edges, and these are, and even auto rebound is off. And uh, go from LC or LSCM to ABF and click apply, and now you've got a nice clean mesh.